works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse, contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I, may, <clears throat> I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went on to Iondicum. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. <clears throat> He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord be with you. And with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. 
And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the father may be glorified in the son. And if you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk about the Acts of the Apostles here and how they're rejoicing, even though they're being persecuted, is very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of control here, efforts to control what's happening. There's a movement that is uh, picking up speed so rapidly that they feel out of control, namely the Jews here. This new covenant is rolling, that God has been telling Israel that he wants to make a new covenant, that he's going to be doing new things. He's been telling them about a gospel. Um, no greater prophet in the Old Testament amongst all the biblical authors than the prophet Isaiah, who forecast this whole thing. I mean, God spoke through him in such powerful ways about the new covenant that he's often referred to as the fifth gospel. So this promulgation to the ends of the earth uh, that this gospel is going to bring about this worldwide evangelization, the famous blessing God promised to Abram of a worldwide Kata Holocaust blessing. The whole world, according to the whole. Isaiah said, uh, told us, and you know, that it's going to meet with resistance. There's going to be some who are going to kind of try to control it. Control. What does that even mean? Contra roll. It's literally what it means. To stop something from rolling. The prepositional prefix contra, against, and rota, rotare, wheel, or to roll in Latin. Literally, this thing is rolling, and they feel out of control. They want to control it. But I'm telling you, this is the Holy Spirit at work here that our Lord said. When you receive the Holy Spirit, when you are born again of water and the Spirit... You'll be like the wind which blows where it wills. You hear the sound. You don't know where it came from, where it's going. That's what's happening to Paul and Barnabas and this new covenant. It is rolling and blowing with the wind of the Holy Spirit. And those who are holding the reins, they feel out of control. So it's natural. And it was predicted and prophesied that this would be the case and that this new covenant God wanted to make would meet with resistance. We can look at a couple examples in Isaiah here, chapter 51, verse 7. Hearken to me, you who know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear not the reproach of men and be not dismayed at their revilings. And again, in chapter 66, verse 5, Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your brethren who hate you and cast you out for my name's sake have said, Let the Lord be glorified that we may see your joy. But it is they who will be put to shame. The apostles are so filled with joy in the Holy Spirit. This is exactly precisely what our Lord prophesied, what he told us uh, we would experience when we're persecuted. He told us we will experience joy. It's counterintuitive, but that's exactly what we're seeing happening now uh, lived out in Acts of the Apostles, even when the apostles in chapter 5 are whipped by the Sanhedrin. They're flogged. And then they leave the Sanhedrin rejoicing for having been found worthy to suffer for the sake of the name. They're rejoicing. It's totally counterintuitive. And here's Paul and Barnabas. They're filled with joy and the Holy Spirit, even though they've been reviled. The crowd's been incited against them and all kinds of maledictions thrown out about them. Uh, this resistance uh, has been really painful for them but they're rejoicing and this is exactly what our lord told us to do in the act in uh, matthew's gospel in the sermon on the mount he says blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven for so men persecuted the prophets who were before you Together, let us stand and offer our prayers. 
For the Pope and all who serve the people of God, may the Lord help them to persevere in defending the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the God of justice help them in their work of serving their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, that we who worship at God's altar may be transformed for service in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may God welcome them to his heavenly table. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Carolyn McCart, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus, came to give us a share in your life. Hear the prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. An integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art Lord, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Father, I wish that where I am, 
Those you gave me also be with me. They may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.